I really enjoyed competing. You know, that's, that was the main reason why, you know, obviously I enjoyed badminton, but also enjoyed the battles that I had as well. Um, I'd say probably the Europeans win. Uh, that was, you know, coming sort of towards the end of my career. And, uh, yeah, it really meant a lot to me winning that. Um, not many of the English players have won that. So, you know, it was very special for me. After the Total BWF World Championships earlier this year, England's Rajiv Youssef called time on his 14-year international career. A nine-time national champion, the 33-year-old walked away as his country's undisputed number one in men's singles since 2008. Other notable achievements include two Commonwealth Games medals, but his finest hour came in 2017, when he became the first Englishman in 27 years to be crowned European champion in singles. Now a coach with Badminton England, Youssef spoke to us about making that difficult decision. It was a combination of things. It was, you know, I'm getting, I was getting slightly older. Uh, my body was slowly starting to pick up a few uh, injuries and yeah, that sort of thing was catching up with me a little bit. Um, I've got a young family, you know, I've got a young son uh, and I'm traveling away. The tour is getting, you know, jam packed at the moment. So I would have had to travel a lot. You know, I see some of the younger players in Milton Keynes, you know, the likes of Toby Penty, you know, really sort of progressing. So I think it's a good opportunity for those guys to have an opportunity at some of the bigger tournaments. I've been to two Olympic Games, three Commonwealth Games, you know, multiple World Championships, uh, and done well in a few of those tournaments. So I can look back and be very proud with how I've done. And so I just thought it was, felt like everything together it just made it the right time for me. There are definitely things that I've missed, you know, even um, just going around the world, traveling, great places, great countries, you know, mad badminton fans in Asia in, in a good way, you know, I miss that, you know, being in those arenas in that, uh, you know, having the energy, especially in big team events, you know, the Indonesian fans were really loud and some of the stuff I didn't miss, you know, like having to train every day, wake up really early and having to train every day. I mean, I still wake up early with my, with my little one, but uh, knowing that I don't need to train and put my body through a lot of physical pain is, uh, it, 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 it feels very nice. My knowledge is in singles, uh, so I'm trying to help the singles players as much as possible. But as a coach, I want to be you know, well-rounded. So for me, also being involved in some of the doubles players is, is a good experience for me and something I want to try and do. I just try and grow badminton and singles specifically in England. You know, that's always been a long-term target of mine. First of all, through playing and hoping that my results will help a, a generation of singles players, but now I can do that as a coach, so that's what I want to try and do. For me, when I was a young kid, I just wanted to enjoy myself, and at the beginning, it was more of a family thing, you know, I just wanted to go and play and spend time with my family, really, and, you know, I was, it was something that I think came quite naturally to me, which I was very lucky about. Um, but yeah, I don't think I could ever imagined how, how my career progressed, and I'm very grateful. Thank you to all the people who have been watching my career, commenting on my career. Um, you know, it's always nice to hear good things and, you know, some bad things which I take on board. But, yeah, it's now I'm a fan as well, you know, just watching badminton and, and hoping it can grow uh, and just looking, you know, forward to watching great matches, especially at the next Olympics. Thanks, Sergey. Thank you.